Okay, in this video we're just going to talk about using false colour on the Panasonic G86. And we're going to do that by using a LUT. And let me start by saying I didn't create this LUT, it's made by Oliver Chen, who wrote a really good article about how he created it. And I'll leave that link in the description. And with that link, that's where you'll be able to download the LUT file. So um, you, you'll have to go over to his website to download it sort of direct from there. And he created the LUT using um, a piece of software called LUT Calc that was developed by Ben Turley. So essentially he's sort of taken the parameters from the um, GH6 and he's worked out how to apply false color in a, um, in a LUT. So first off, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run over to the website. I'm going to grab the grab the LUT from there, download it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add it onto an SD card or CF Express card. That's up to you. And then bring it into the camera, and then we're going to load it into Vlog View Assist. And we've done this in a different video, so um, I'll leave a link up in the corner on how to do that. Um, but I'm going to just run through it really quickly here. So we load up the LUT and then we're just going to go from there and we're, we're going to um, we're going to start working with it. So if you don't know what false color is, it essentially allows you to visually see the IRE values or the exposure of your footage. So it gives you more information than a histogram and it's just a nice visual way of seeing what's happening. OK, so now I've got the LUT onto a card. Um, I'm just using a small card that I load LUTs onto. Again, it's in the other video. I'll link above to that. I'm not going to go into too much detail on using um, the view assist features. It's um, it's all in another video, so I, I really don't need to cover it again. And it's so we're under the cog view assist. Jump in, and I'm just going to read the LUT file from here. And we've got the false color LUT here and I'm just going to apply that to one set. Okay, sorry, actually I've used the used the wrong file there. Jump into that one, set three. Okay, and then that looks good. And then we are going to select the false color one and we're going to switch that on on the monitor. And that doesn't look like that's happened. Let me jump back. Okay, yeah, I can't use that actually, I'm not in the right profile. Okay, so the next thing to do, we need to jump into, we're just gonna have to jump into, I'll do it in the Q menu. Um, so this is just in the Q menu. If yours doesn't look like mine, um, again, I'll link up in the corner and you can find out how to kind of customize this. Um, what we need to do first off, so we go into our picture profile, we need to get that into Vlog. And this will only work in these settings. So you need Vlog on and you're going to need uh, DR Boost on as well. If you do it with DR Boost off or if you do it in the, the wrong profile, uh, well, you can't actually do it in the wrong profile. But if you um, yeah, if you do it with DR Boost off, it, it's not actually going to work. So, um, yeah, you can kind of see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a... Oh no, um, oh, I've got VFR on. Okay, let me just turn VFR off a second. So I can't actually focus on anything. Okay, and then you can see here on the menu, so we've got, um, we've essentially got our points that this is picking out as um, being overexposed. And the overexposure points are generally these kind of the red areas that we've got here. So um, probably the easiest way to do it, if I put a, put a cap over the top, might not actually might not do you can see we've got this kind of ready purple color for the uh, for that and then if I've got sorry just a second just a very white piece of paper and we put that over the top you might not be able to see any of this uh, you should be able to see it it generally sends it a kind of red color it doesn't quite work for that the lens that i've got is not uh not so good in the space that i've got here but um you can kind of see that it's it's pulling out the um the information telling me what is kind of um you know what what's technically exposed and what's not so you can um you can just use it as a guide and you can um you can obviously flick this on and off as much as you want to kind of go back to your frame and check it. It's obviously harder when you're in Vlog to be 
kind of checking this so that's where fold color comes in really handy um we we do have um i've got on here i should have yeah the vlog 709 that i can switch on so you can kind of get an idea of what the what the frame looks like anyway so um you can see on this guy here he um there were parts of him that are a bit overexposed so when we come back and we put our false color that back on that already on you can see like it's picking out the the sort of highlight areas from him and kind of highlighting them as being uh, a bit red it's this is probably easier to be honest to see on a monitor it's obviously not very easy to see in this video anyway at all for you so it's probably better to download it and give it a try but you can see the the kind of bit so you can see on there the um there's like a little highlight there on the um that's like a rocket blower in the background if i change that up to vlog 709 you can see it's just a little point where the light's just hitting the um hitting that rocket blower so it's kind of um it's just picking out those little points and it will just give you a good visual indication of um you know these parts are a little bit blown out and these bits um may be slightly underexposed so i mean this this is generally just something that like we've looked at then you'll just want to kind of reference occasionally just to get an idea of what your overall exposure is like and we've got loads of other tools on there like um you know, you've got histogram, um, vector scopes, you've got um, luminance spot meter. There's lots of other things on there, but this is, I've found, I've been sort of playing with this and it's been quite a quite a nice little, uh, you know, a little thing to kind of use. And I, I do find that it's it's been quite accurate. So it's, um, yeah, it's just quite a nice addition to the camera essentially. Um, but yeah, if you, if you want to use this, like I say, you'll probably want to toggle it on and off a lot. So um, you'll probably want to add um, vlog view assist to your uh, my menu section so again I'll leave a link up in the corner because I, I don't want to make this video longer than it already is um, just on how to make a shortcut for that and then that's it really just um, you know download it have a play with it and, and see what you think it, it's not going to be for everyone but um, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a useful thing so um, thank you to Oliver for taking the time to make that LUT and share it with the community and it's i think it's a really nice addition to the camera so you know if, if you do use it and you like it make sure to um, check him out on youtube and give him a subscribe and say thanks and if you like this video then um, please give this video a like and um, if you want to see more about the panasonic gh6 and check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe